Hi guys, again, it's Mr. Holding here and, um, and Mr. Jarrett. Um, this quick video is following on from our other series. Um, and to, in this one, we're going to specifically look at um, how to fill and use a burette, um, a burette accurately. Um, so, Mr. Jarrett, how um, this is obviously a burette. We've cleaned it, we've done everything. Now we want to fill it ready to actually do our titration. So, what, what do we need to do to, to be able to do that? Um, All right, we need manageable quantities. Now, we've got our base here. What we want to do is transfer it to uh, something smaller, which, which will pour more easily. So, number one, we transfer from the large containers to the small containers. Now, when you fill a burette, take it off the stand. Okay, you don't want to be stretching up and stuff running down your arms. Therefore, what we do is we get it down to a comfortable level. Um, with these, sometimes you've got to lift the funnel just a little bit to let the air through. Sometimes they seal at the top mm -hmm. and they can uh, gulp air. So I always just move that ever so slightly. Make sure the tap is turned off. <laughs> You'd be surprised how many people have wet feet. Sure, and it's not nice having base in your feet and your Not socks. the best because it's very soapy. And what you do is you fill it up to uh, beyond the zero. So we take it right up. Don't overfill, so make sure it's in control. Now once it's there, take the funnel out. It must come out straight away. We clamp it in position. Get comfortable. Now staying with uh, the beaker with the base, I'm going to bring this down such that the meniscus, which is that curved bit at the top, has got to sit on the line. Now the most convenient line to start on is zero. So we control the, the tap. Now at the same time, we've got to blow any air bubbles out of here and we don't want any air bubbles uh, in the burette as well. But the big thing is to blow the air out of here. Sometimes that takes a little bit of doing and I've run a lot in to get that air bubble out. Well, that's not a problem because I will very quickly put it back in. So we've got to get the air bubbles out, refill. Now, go beyond zero, so overfill. You can see all this happens very quickly. It's easy to transfer. The clamps are very good. And putting my beaker back, I'm now going to bring it down to zero. So you're being very fine there with, with your movements there. Um, obviously, we're filling, so you can go a bit quicker than you would in titration. But um, So obviously, using this is important yes. uh, and, and, get, and being familiar with it. And the hardest part now is the tap. And what happens is that you see all sorts of strange things. You, get, you see people working together as a team, whereas one person is meant to do it. So when I'm titrating, what I'm doing is I use one hand, I move the tap to the point where it's about to turn on, but I'm using my fingers and thumb on one hand because my other hand is for swirling when they start to react. So we need to practice that at first. It only takes a moment, but you start to get a feel and you can see when it just starts to drop and you can control that quite well so you can have a full flow right down to that and I'll just use my thumb to slowly turn that off so I can get it to that point and then I can use my thumb on the other side so I use my thumb each time just to turn the tap on and off so my thumb is what's controlling all of that so when you do that out of interest I've sort of Used it. I, you, I noticed you used it left handed. I'm right handed, way. so I use my left hand. So you do. So I've I've always done it that way. Yeah. Um, so what, what was it, the it wouldn't, it wouldn't matter as long as you're comfortable and you've got control of the tap. Okay. This way, I, I can see what's happening to the handle, and uh, I'm looking down as well. So it, it doesn't matter, left hand or right hand, as long as you've got control. And this way, I can control the tap. And because I'm right-handed, I can swirl that comfortably. Okay. That's, that, that's my method for doing it, but uh, as long as whatever you're doing works, it's all right. Um, fantastic. So um, whether you do it left or hand, right-handed, right it's fine as long as you're doing it. So the, but the other thing you said is do it yourself. So yes. it's not a matter of as it's much not, as we like team teamwork, sport, not in this case. Yes. All right. That's right. Okay, so that's how we use a burette, um, how we fill it and how we use it accurately. Um, hopefully you found that useful.